Hey everybody, how you going? I'm Royce. Uh, nice to meet you. Um, so yeah, I'm, uh, this is my first ever video. Uh, making it on this lab box. It's a daylight film developing tank. It arrived in the mail yesterday. I went online to see if there's any tutorials or reviews and there's nothing so I figured I'd make one myself. Um, hopefully it helps others. Um, so yeah, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll do an unboxing. We'll see what's in there. Um, I'll develop a roll of black and white. Uh, Alpha pan to see how easy it is and um, and yeah basically that's it okay so what did I get in the box I've got the lab box kit this has got the 135 and the 120 modules for medium format and regular film it's got this a film retriever and I've got this with it as well okay so that's it let's open this box up and see what's in there Okay, so here's a 120 module. Okay. okay, it comes with the module and I guess the rolls. Okay, and here's the main box. And in here, alright, so we got a user manual. You get Reels and clips. Yep. And the box. It feels pretty feels pretty good. Pretty sturdy. What's in here? Oh, film guy. Okay. Um yeah, the plastic feels alright. Okay, so let's uh, let me look at the instructions and then um, let's get to developing. Be with you in a sec. Okay, back. So what you need to do is you need to put together your 135 reel. Um, there's going to be a link below. Um, the guys that made Labbox have made video tutorials on how to do that. So just follow those instructions. So you need to get that done, and then you need to put together your um, your film guide as well. Same thing, there'll be a link below to get that information. Okay, so once you do that, it says now get your film and we've got to cut the leader off. Take that bit off. Open the lid. Okay, so check the guide is in position, it's done. Check the reels are done, that's done. Check all the, check in all the elements are properly lined. Yep, yep, yep. So we've got our box. This goes into here. Okay, so you take this out, you put this in. Now, okay. Now, now it turns. Yep. So that comes out. Okay, so this filling guide should probably go here. I'm guessing. Yeah. Goes down like that. This will come across like that. I'm assuming that we're going to grab the film with this bad boy here. And then pull it into the tank. Okay, so, so I've cut my film right set so square. All right, so this got to go under here, like that, like that, like that. This goes like this. Okay, so there we go. And then I guess if I pull it, if I guide it in the film like that. Okay, see that? So if I start winding this gonna pull the film out. So I think, I'm pretty sure that's how to do it. Close the lid. Okay. So now this is light tight. Lid's closed. Okay, and turn. Okay, well the film is definitely coming out of that reel now. Oh, okay, so that's the end of it. So, once it's fully wound, there's a lever on the back there. See that thing there? And it cuts it. So I'm going to put that down. I'm going to... Yep. And that cut it. Once you've cut the film, turn the knob gently to one of the last part of the film onto the reel. Now you can start processing your film. 
I think we're on. Okay, cool. Let me get the chems. Okay, back. Okay, so I've got the film loaded in the lab box. Okay, I've got my chemicals, and we're going to start this uh, start this development process. So there's two ways you can do it. You can do continuous agitation for the whole time, or or submerge it. I'm going to submerge it. I'm going to I'm going to use the same process I do um, with the Patterson tank. Okay, so I am using DDX and TF4. That's all I use. Okay, I've put the crank on there for the agitation. And let's have a look. We're at 20 degrees. Yep, okay. And start pouring in 490 mils. And apparently that submerges the whole reel whole roll and let's agitate for a minute okay that's one minute so let's just do this let's just go ahead I've got nine minutes development on this and we'll come back when that's done hey back Okay, so now like five hours later, um, as you can tell by the artificial light, um, the negatives are done and they turned out really nice, actually. I haven't scanned them yet. Um, we'll be doing that later and maybe I'll put a link up. But what do I think of the lab box? I think it's brilliant for what it does, honestly. To be able to load film in daylight without using a changing bag, it's a godsend to me. I hate changing bags. My hands get sweaty. I can never get the film into the reel. So to be able to do that process with so much ease as I did the today with this, hands down, it's uh, worth every cent. Where does it fall? Maybe it doesn't do multiple rolls. It's only a one roll at a time, so that's a disadvantage. And cost, it's, you know, it's, I think it's like 200 bucks. So that's you know, a pretty penny. That being said, it's the copy of the Agfa Rondonex daylight tank. And you can pick those up from eBay for around 70, 80 bucks. If so if you, if you want one and you don't want to spend that much money, you can get the cheaper model from eBay. But apart from that, I highly recommend it. I think um, they've done a really good job with it. I look forward to using it in future, especially the 120 module, which I haven't tried out yet. And yeah, uh, two thumbs up. Hope you enjoyed the video. What do they say? Like, subscribe, comment. Go easy though, it's my first one. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful and thanks for watching. Bye.